Bienvenidos. Welcome. We are very glad uh, to have you all here. Uh, due to some agenda issues, um, the president of the university cannot be here with us. However, tomorrow he will be here to give a, uh, us uh, an official and warm. Uh, no se oye? Here? Is better? Um, I said that the president of the university isn't here today because he has a lot of things to do this day. But tomorrow he, he comes with us and, uh, to give us a, an official and warm welcome. He, he is very, very, very happy that uh, you stay here with us. And this is an, an historical event. event. This is the first time uh, that we celebrate a cover in Spain, and we are uh, so honored for the opportunity of hosting this conference at the University of Francisco de Vitoria. I'm confident that uh, this will be a moment of, of, of inflection of the uh, Girardian studies in Spain. This would not be possible without the support of Imitatio, Imitatio Raven Foundation, Schumann Institute, and of course, COVA. Um, and so on, and all the anonymous colleagues uh, from the university that have, have been helping me in the shadows all the year, all, all this year. No? Uh, my personal experience with the COVAR has been always extremely good. Uh, I have been in uh, several COVARs um, in Europe, invited the first time by Girard. In Grass, I met uh, him uh, for the first time. Um, and in other places. I keep many good memories from these conferences, memories of people discussing together in an environment without competition, sharing together ideas from different fields and areas of knowledge. I desire the same for this conference that we begin today. Identity can be approached from different fields, neuroscience, linguistics, literature, theology, these days, we will add uh, uh, to it the legacy of Girard, to whom I would like to express also my gratitude, my personal gratitude. I think it's um, a historical moment here in Spain is uh, more important even because uh, we are now in a process of separation and in this uh, strong uh, struggle about uh, nationalities is now a very um, hot question. In, in, Nowadays, no? And for all this, I think that the, the title that um, um, we have uh, proposed to the COVAR in this, uh, in this uh, meeting is very, very uh, current uh, question, no? Identity and rivalry for us, uh, the problem of the modernity on the, this, um, this century. Said so that, I. Uh, give the word uh, to Jay Albert, the president of COVAR, uh, now here on my side, if you want. Thank you very much, Thank you very much for your coming here. Thank you. Can you hear me? Is this, yeah. One of the uh, privileges of being the president of COVAR is meeting people in different parts of the world who are so willing to work with us, to be part of us, to make these meetings happen. Still, there are some strange things. It's slightly strange for me to be welcoming you. I myself am a guest, first time in Spain. But as president, I do welcome you. And I thank you for coming the distance, for making the various sacrifices. I welcome members. I welcome our guests. And I especially welcome those who are joining us for the first time. This is the main activity of the Colloquium on Violence and Religion each year. Intensive colloquia, a four to five day colloquium, speaking with each other, sharing with each other, deepening our own reflections. And so I reflect on the moment that we're in right now this afternoon. And again, a little strange. Normally one says thanks at the end. And yet, 
and we will have time for that too. But I think it's appropriate to give thanks now. Thanks to the university, to the organizers, to Angela, for all the work that's been done, his helpers. Uh, we are like a group of people gathered around a table set for a feast. And what do we do before we, we, we give thanks? And so before this meeting begins, as it begins, we begin by giving thanks for all of this preparation that has brought us to this moment. The past few months in Tokyo, one of the big uh, events has been uh, Bruegel's Tower of Babel, Tower of Babel's painting, the very famous painting of the Tower of Babel, has been on display in Tokyo. Thousands and thousands of uh, people have gone to visit it. Uh, it's like being on a subway as you go by, a packed subway. Uh, it's an iconic picture, and it is uh, an event in the Bible that's open to uh, many different interpretations. A frightened God, jealous of his power, an arrogant humanity with Prometheus strivings. Or we can see the same story as a God who protects us from our own worst tendencies, who blesses us with a variety of languages. And it happens that the most beautiful of all these languages is Spanish. <laughs> Cover has been multilingual since its inception in the mind of a man who is a native French speaker working in an English speaking environment, writing about it in both languages. In a certain sense, Cover was born when a German speaking Jesuit read the French text. All of us have experienced and cover both the difficulty and the joys of translation, of working through the different languages. And now, today, we are in the land of Don Quixote, of the beginning in many ways, of the book and of the theory itself. And so we now hold our meeting here in great hope in the capital of this land, at one of its universities, and we celebrate with one another the gift of these languages. Thank you. <laughs> Last week, uh, on Thursday, Andrew Lascotti, who is known to many of you, the former chair of the Dutch Girard Society, died. And we're going to take just a few minutes here to pay tribute to him. Uh, Michael Elias uh, will who's a, uh, also in the Dutch uh, Girard Society, will give a tribute. So please. Thank you, Thank you Jeremiah. Yeah. As he uh, told us last week on July the 6th, Andrew, Lascari is, uh, Andrew Lascaris passed away at the age of 77. He was a Dominican friar, one of the members of our Dutch Girard Society. Many of you will remember him from cover conferences from the very beginning in 1990. In 2007, when we organized the conference in the Netherlands, he was one of the initiators. Together with Ru Kaptein, he did peace work in Northern Ireland. And since the 70s, he was very much inspired by the work of René Girard. On several cover, cover conferences, he gave papers. And in Dutch, he published extensively on mimetic theory, forgiveness, and Christian faith, both from theology and a pastoral <coughs> perspective. The theory was in his bones. Uh, in my personal life, I owe a lot to him. In 2011, together we edited a book on mimetic theory and crisis in Dutch. And apart from that all, um, 
we remember Andrew as a very friendly, reliable, and sympathetic person. A brave man who, suffering from Parkinson's disease, did not give up. Three years ago, he was with us at the conference in Freising, Germany. We all miss him. The funeral will be tomorrow in uh, Holland. Well, may his memory be a blessing to us. And requiescat in pace. Thank you. Yes, so for those of you who are here for the first time, uh, I think you'll be able to understand uh, my own experience of uh, the first few times coming to cover and meeting people whose books I had read and suddenly seeing them in the flesh. And certainly uh, one of those people is Professor Bandera, who will be our next speaker. And to introduce him, uh, Professor William Johnson will be. Thank you.